I've heard many things talked about uh, on my time on the floor at the show this uh, this year uh, regarding dense breasts and the fact that it kind of started as a regional or a state by state um, legislation and discussion and how it's being treated and it's starting to go broader. Do you find there will be a lot of challenges as they try to flatten the, how the whole inf information is disseminated to patients, women with dense breasts? Yeah, that, that really is one of the, uh, the difficulties here. So it actually started in Connecticut. Uh, that's really where the spearheading occurred. And again, we've known uh, for a long time now that uh, mammography, which is our gold standard for screening, is somewhat limited specifically in women that have dense breast tissue. Uh, how do you handle those patients differently? Should they have additional screening tests? Uh, Connecticut was the first to legislate that insurance uh, carriers would have to pay for additional screening in these patients, generally ultrasound screening. And that now has uh, extended to multiple additional states. And uh, it's not only a, a payment issue, it's an issue of how these patients are going to be managed. Uh, who's going to pay for the uh, additional studies, but also how are the patients going to be identified as being women with dense breasts? How are they going to be informed of their additional risk? And how are we going to get those patients back into the center for the additional uh, imaging studies that are needed? And then there were questions, I think, of workflow, having enough staff to actually treat these women, and it's a whole different learning curve, different technology being used. How, how are you addressing workflow in the whole big picture? It's a really difficult task. Uh, uh, ultrasound traditionally of the breast has been a, a focal exam. You're examining just one area of the breast, and, and ultrasound technology has been designed to do that. When you're now having to uh, examine the entirety of both breasts, it's a totally different study. Um, who will do the exam? To actually scan a, a breast in its entirety, if you do both breasts, it's, it's, it can be a 30-minute study. The doctor doesn't have time uh, to stand there and scan the, the patient uh, for 30 minutes. And so new technology, of course, is developed uh, so that it's an automated process and the physician can simply review the images once they're obtained. And so this is, again, how uh, the need uh, uh, results in innovation. And so we can then adopt that new technology and, and uh, patients can benefit from it.